Those who've been following my channel know that I prefer to use the desktop version of OneNote over the Windows 10 version. The desktop version that comes with Office 365 has more advanced features, like the ability to use templates. However, interestingly, the Windows 10 version has some unique features that the desktop version lacks, and this is the reason why I actually have both versions of OneNote installed on my PC, so that I could switch between them based on my specific needs. And as a matter of fact, I often have both versions running at the same time even. So in this video, I'll share four specific instances when I use the Windows 10 version over the desktop version of OneNote. So the first instance is when I'm collaborating with my team members on a shared notebook. Really the biggest advantage that Windows 10 version of OneNote has over its desktop counterpart is that it synchronizes in real time. So if there are multiple people working in the same notebook note page, we can see each other's inputs more or less in real time. Since I don't have anyone right now to help demonstrate the collaboration note taking feature, I'm going to simulate this by getting on the same note page from my iPad and inputting some notes there. So I've got the Windows 10 version of OneNote on the left side of the screen and the desktop version on the right side of the screen. Now I'm going to start taking notes on my iPad and we'll see how quickly they appear in each version of OneNote. As you can see, my notes from the iPad shows up almost instantaneously in Windows 10, but don't appear in the desktop version. Only when I wait a few minutes or when I manually sync the notebook does it finally appear. So this real-time sync feature kind of ties into the second reason why I use OneNote for Windows 10. And that's when I want to use multiple input sources. What I mean by that is most often I prefer typing my notes into my laptop, but sometimes I want to annotate things on a page, sketch a diagram or handwrite some key terms. And sometimes I want to snap a quick photo or scan a document with my phone and insert it to my note page. So what I'll do in these situations is have my OneNote note page on my laptop open and use either my iPad or my iPhone as a companion tool to add content to my note page in real time. So in this first example, I'm just sketching some diagrams on my iPad using my Apple Pencil, and you can see the diagram up here in my laptop note page. And in this second example, I'm taking a quick snapshot of this camera with my iPhone, and it shows up almost instantaneously in my note page. And the third reason is for its search capability. I always found the search capability in the desktop version of OneNote a little bit lacking. And I think the Windows 10 version has much better search functionality. Combine your search terms along with custom tags, you can find your notes a lot more quickly and more intuitively than in the desktop version. So let's start with a basic search. I'm going to type in the name Mary. We see that there are two results. One is in the page name Racy, as you can see here. And the other is in a page for meeting notes. You see two instances here. So this is straightforward. So I'm going to add a search term, supply chain, and that narrows down the search results to just one page. And you can see the matching words highlighted here. So far, there's no difference from the Windows desktop version. Where it gets interesting is when we add tags to the search. I'm going to type to do and make sure that I have the tags tab selected and I see a list of all of the note snippets that are tagged with to do. If I click on one, I see the to do items highlighted. Let's select another and another for good measure. Now, if I combine a search term with a tag, for example, I'm going to choose definition as a tag and I see all of them listed here. But if I add the search term strength, it narrows down the results that meets both of the criteria. So if I click on the first result, 
And this green highlight indicates that it's tagged with definition. And there's the word strength. And if I click on the second result, it's the same, the green highlight and the word strength. I know this doesn't seem like a big deal, but this is a feature that's missing from the desktop version. So whenever I have to perform an advanced search through my notes, I do it in the Windows 10 version. Sorting through pages. If I have a lot of pages in my section, I find it helpful that I can use the sorting feature in the Windows 10 version that's not available in the desktop version. As you can see, I can sort the pages alphabetically or by date created or by date modified. So these are the four reasons that I sometimes use the Windows 10 version of OneNote. Again, the beauty of OneNote platform is that I can use any device with any version concurrently and seamlessly. I don't have to commit to using the desktop version or the Windows 10 version, and I don't have to commit to using my laptop versus my iPad. I can switch from device to device depending on my needs at the time. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're interested in learning more about OneNote, click on this video next. Thanks. Mm -hmm.